In the world of trading, success isn't merely about guessing market directions. Instead, it's about accurately understanding market trends, which gives you the opportunity to achieve success. One of the most popular methods today is by using order blocks and the smart money concept. In this video, we will discuss a daily trading strategy using order blocks and the smart money concept. This video is suitable for those who are still struggling to identify order block areas manually. Make sure you stay tuned until the end of this video and don't forget to support us by liking and subscribing to this channel. An order block is a term in trading that refers to an area on the chart indicating a significant accumulation of buy or sell orders in the market. Typically, these order blocks reflect institutional or smart money activity, which has the ability to influence price movements. When an order block forms, it indicates a consensus among large market participants about a relevant price. Therefore, order blocks are often considered as important areas where prices are likely to react when reached again in the future. Traders often use the concept of order blocks in their technical analysis to identify significant levels in the market and make trading decisions based on this information. Now, let's introduce the indicators we will use in this trading strategy. We will provide you with two of the best trading methods that you can use when employing this trading strategy. Now, open your trading view and navigate to the indicator search tab. In the search bar, simply type market structure bill S and then select market structure bill S by nephew Sam. Next, enter the settings of the market structure bill S and chalk indicators. In the input tab, deactivate the checkbox for show chalk. After that, change the bull OB color to green and the bear OB color to red. Then, activate the checkboxes for extend OB boxes and delete OB after fill. Next, deactivate the checkbox for show BB after bill S in the breaker block section. Once done, click OK to confirm the changes. We will use the market structure indicator by nephew Sam to identify order blocks in the market. This indicator will help us determine the best areas to place orders if there are order blocks or supply and demand zones in the market. If a green colored order block forms, it indicates a bullish order block. In this case, your main focus is to find the best entry point to place a buy order. On the other hand, if a red colored order block forms, it indicates a bearish order block. In this scenario, your main focus is to find the best entry point to place a sell order. Now, let's add the second indicator that will serve as a guide in the market. Go to the indicator search tab and type moving average ribbon or MA ribbon. Then, simply select the default MA ribbon from trading view. Next, enter the settings of the MA ribbon. In the input tab, deactivate the checkboxes for MA number 3 and MA number 4. Then, change MA number 1 to EMA and set the EMA length to 50. Similarly, change MA number 2 to EMA and set the EMA length to 200. After that, adjust the colors of the EMAs according to your preference. However, if you'd like to follow my settings, change EMA 1 to white and EMA 2 to yellow. Once done, click OK to confirm the changes the EMA indicator will be used as a trend guide in the market. If the 50 EMA crosses or stays above the 200 EMA, it indicates a bullish trend, and your focus will be solely on finding the best entry points to place by orders. Conversely, if the 50 EMA crosses or stays below the 200 EMA, it indicates a bearish trend, and your focus will be solely on finding the best entry points to place sell orders. Now, let's discuss how to place buy and sell orders using the first method. In this first method, we will use the order block area, the moving average ribbon, and combine it with price action candlestick patterns to place orders. Therefore, it's essential to understand candlestick reversal patterns such as doji, engulfing, hammer, and others before using this method. Here's how to place buy and sell orders using the described method, placing a buy order, 1. If the 50 EMA crosses or stays above the 200 EMA, indicating a bullish trend, 
your primary focus is to find the best entry points to place by orders. 2. Wait for a bullish order block to form and for the break of structure bullish signal to appear. 3. Then, wait for the price to retest the bullish order block area. 4. Once the price has retested the bullish order block area, wait for a rejection in the form of a candlestick reversal pattern. 5. Ensure that the formed candlestick is bullish and the trend remains bullish. 6. If all conditions are met, you can place a buy order after the bullish candlestick closes. Seven. Place a stop loss below the order block area. Eight. Use a target take profit with a risk reward ratio of one to 1.5. Placing a sell order, 1, if the 50 EMA crosses or stays below the 200 EMA, indicating a bearish trend, your primary focus is to find the best entry points to place sell orders, 2, wait for a bearish order block to form and for the break of structure bearish signal to appear, 3, then, wait for the price to retest the bearish order block area, 4. Once the price has retested the bearish order block area, Wait for a rejection in the form of a candlestick reversal pattern. 5. Ensure that the formed candlestick is bearish and the trend remains bearish. 6. If all conditions are met, you can place a sell order after the bearish candlestick closes. 7. Place a stop loss above the order block area. 8. Use a target take profit with a risk reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. 9. Now, let's discuss the second method for using the smart money concept trading strategy with order blocks. But before that, let's add one more indicator that will be used as a guide to place buy and sell orders in the market. Go to the indicator search tab and type range filter buy and sell 5 minutes. Then, simply select range filter buy and sell 5 minutes from Phantom Trader. Next, enter the settings of the range filter buy and sell indicator. In the input tab, change the range multiplier to 1.8. Then, go to the style tab. Here, deactivate the checkboxes for range filter, high target, low target, bar color, high target range, and low target range. Change the color of the buy signal to green and also change the sell signal color to red. Once done, click OK to confirm the changes. The range filter buy and sell indicator will be used as a guide to place buy and sell orders in the market. Now, let's discuss how to trade the smart money concept using order blocks in this second method. Placing a buy order, 1. If the 50 EMA crosses above or remains above the 200 EMA, it signals a bullish trend, and your main focus is to find the best entry point to place a buy order. 2. Wait for a bullish order block to form and for the break of structure bullish signal to appear. 3. Then, wait for the price to retest the area of the bullish order block. 4. Once the price has retested the area of the bullish order block, Wait for the range filter buy and sell indicator to provide a buy signal. 5. If the range filter indicator has given a buy signal, ensure that the formed candlestick is bullish and the trend remains bullish. 6. If all conditions are met, you can place a buy order after the bullish candlestick closes. 7. Place a stop loss below the area of the order block. 8. Then, use a target take profit with a risk reward ratio of 1 to 2. Placing a sell order, 1. If the 50 EMA crosses below or remains below the 200 EMA, it signals a bearish trend and your main focus is to find the best entry point to place a sell order. 2. Wait for a bearish order block to form and for the break of structure bearish signal to appear. 3. Then, wait for the price to retest the area of the bearish order block. 
for. Once the price has retested the area of the bearish order block, wait for the range filter buy and sell indicator to provide a sell signal. 5. If the range filter indicator has given a sell signal, ensure that the formed candlestick is bearish and the trend remains bearish. 6. If all conditions are met, you can place a sell order after the bearish candlestick closes. Seven. Place a stop loss above the area of the order block. Eight. Then use a target take profit with a risk reward ratio of one to two. Remember to maintain your money management and trading psychology, as no trading strategy can guarantee a 100% win rate. That concludes this video, and see you in the next one.